All right, so then uh, this one here is the uh, the MAN engine. It's a 12.4 liter engine made in Germany, I do believe. Uh, there's its air filter and it draws its air from the top through here. Now on the new ones, like this is a 20 model, but I think on the 21 models, on the Gen 2 1050s, you can get the hydraulic reversible fan, which is weird because it's still a hydraulic fan. I don't know why I couldn't get the reversible fan. Maybe I can. I was told I couldn't, but maybe there's an update I can now. That would really help with the dust, let me tell you. Check the oil on this one. You just kind of have to move the fender out of the way, like this. Typically, you would try and plan it, so you would just crank your tires so it's easier access, but, you know, I like to do everything the hard way. And right there, spin that thing off. There's a dipstick in it to recheck your oil. And then this one here is the cab filter. Okay, guys. My hands are freezing. I should talk about the triples a little bit, too. Um, we always check the triples. We're always checking for any bolts breaking. You're not going to break anything. If you're going to break anything, it's going to be the bolts. And it's not going to be these ones. It's going to be the ones way inside. So we're always checking those. Making sure nothing's broke, nothing's missing. Um, oh, we don't have a lot of, hardly any air in this outside tire. That way it stays squatty like that. So that way if you're going through a washout, it will literally just squat right to the rim and come back. Putting, is putting the least amount of strain on this axle bar as you can. And then the air pressure goes up so the inside one is holding the most air, which which needs to be. Mike, how can you not put triples on the front? Because you would never steer the freaking thing. You can't hardly steer it right now uh, because of this rock that's on here. This isn't even an option anymore on the new ones. At least that's what I'm told. It comes with a 2200 kg rock, not the 33. And the reason is, is because you can't steer it. Too much weight. At low speeds, you're like strong arming, like uh, uh, at like two mile an hour, right? So, or maybe they'll slow two mile an hour. And sure, if you were to air up your tires, put a bunch of air in those tires, it steers a lot better. Well, that kind of defeats the purpose. So, that's about as much squat on these front tires as you can get, and still st and still steer it. Well, Mike, surely you're gonna break. The the axle off on these things with these triples on and so on and so forth well this isn't the first time we ran triples you guys and uh, if we keep the tractor it won't be the last so this is my third 1050 and this is the first time that this particular 1050 has had triples um, but we've run them before I'm not worried about that at all you just gotta be smart with it you gotta be careful with them and you gotta watch them well Mike surely surely you don't need all that tire on the ground well you don't no, that's true. It will pull it with the duels it did last year uh, until you start climbing a hill and get down into two mile an hour because you are running out of horsepower and eventually it is going to come down the traction. You will spin yourself with the duels, with the extra weight in there, you'll spin yourself into a hole that deep, okay? And you're going to be stuck. The triples will at least hopefully at two mile an hour or one mile an hour, you'll hopefully get over the thing and get going again. That's the goal. Now this year is exceptionally dry. So I don't predict the 1050 is going to have a lot of trouble pulling any of the hills. Well, the hills it still will, but it's going to pull a whole heck of a lot easier because it's really dry out, okay? Last year it was wet and muddy. Um, what else? Well, Mike, surely this thing doesn't steer. Like, this thing cannot steer good. You can't tell me that this 1050 steers with those triples on there. Actually, it steers awesome, not going to lie. It steers awesome because it's a completely independent steering system. It gets completely independent, just like a four-wheel drive. So. Uh, when you turn this thing, and they actually have, uh, Fent actually has this, uh, the gearing sped up a little bit for the front tires. So when you're steering, it literally just cranks you right around. Like, you don't even notice those triples on it, to be honest. The, the thing steers awesome. You could be, you could literally be on a side hill, ask me how I know, digging yourself into a crazy hole. You're like, holy crap, holy crap, I'm not going to make it, I'm not going to make it. And turn that steering wheel with your finger like this. And, and lugging that drill back there, which in theory would make your your uh, your steering. Sorry about that, someone's trying to call me. Um, and you just crank it and right off the side hill. No, no big deal at all. Steer's awesome. Okay. Uh, when it comes to the hood, uh, it's easy to lift this hood. No problem at all. You just and sometimes it's a bear cat to get this key to work and push it in. We've actually snapped keys off before. Um, you gotta really kind of pull down on it and then just kind of work the key a little bit and pop it loose. I'm not a big fan of the key system, to be quite honest with you. At least it's not around here. I get it where, you know, you're in urban areas, you need to have it locked up, but around here it's kind of pointless. 
Uh, but this hood lifts really easy and closes really easy. The deer one, uh, you gotta go to Iron Man a few times to uh, to lift that, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> and then, then to close it, you just pull down on this. Look at that, look how easy that is. Easy. Let's go for comparison. I better put these keys in here first. And to grab this one, you just pull it down here. It closes really easy. It just lifts really hard. So you gotta undo this with one hand and then you try and grab under here. I like to get my fingers under here or maybe lift back up on here, but uh, it lifts quite hard. At least that's for me. Maybe I gotta go work out more. That's probably true. Stop laughing at me. <laughs> Going under here, Rickles. Uh, pretty good. Are I'm you sure? Get a little full of grease though. Oh, oh, speaking <laughs> of that, I just got grease. You know, like I said, you, you cannot you cannot grease a drill without having grease on you. You just can't, it can't be done. You talk about greasing and, and it automatically gets on you. And you probably shouldn't even put it on the tire because then you're going to go lean up against it and you're going to track it into your cap. So you want to walk on the frame. And uh, what you're looking for is any broken hoses, any, anything that doesn't quite look right. See this? Let me, uh, there we go. That hydraulic hose is getting worn because of this, it's sitting on top of it. Uh, there's really no other way you can root that. So I'm just gonna tape that up so that way it can wear on the tape and not the hydraulic hose. Normally you would reroute it somewhere, but there's really no good place you can reroute it. It has to go over that frame. If you put it over the hose, it's just gonna wear on the bottom. Hey guys, so we're back and uh, Mike's found a, a broken packet oil here. Hey Mike, what's you up to? Oh, you did already change it. out of his way to surprise attack him. So he but once well. he only gets hugged one time, he never has to worry about it for the rest of the day. So that is good. Alright, so yeah, we're just going to change this tire. I already told you guys I got to change that on. I'm basically NASCAR. It, you should, it only took me five minutes to get that off. Ugh. Look how fast I can put that on. Count it. One, two, three. Struggling. Four. Five Mississippi. Five. <laughs> it's backwards. Six, seven, seven, five, five, six, seven. How fast are the NASCAR guys doing? I don't even know. They go so fast. I'm, I gotta be close though. So. Five, six, seven. Oh crap. Six, <laughs> five, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 10, 10, oh, oh. 10, 10, oh, I got dirt on Susie, 10, star pattern, star pattern, star, what are we at, 12, 10, 10 11, 12, 4, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, I did, I did it before 10 seconds, woo, woo, so now that I, I beat the record, I actually think I did it in under 10 seconds. I'm not joking. And uh, we gotta fix this, like I said. The guys are out from underneath it. I'm just gonna bend this thing down. We don't really have anything like, oh my goodness, it actually, we got a little bit of threads on the bottom. Wow. Okay, so I'm gonna take this off first. FYI, there could be pressure because the opener shut off. I did close the valves, so we should be okay. But if we're not, you are going to get a face full of oil. I probably would not feel it because my oh, face look is that. so numb. You're almost cut right through there. Oh, zoom. 
I don't know if they can see that or not. They might. Yeah. Okay, just maybe watch out here. I just don't yep. want to. I'll back up. Don't want to get hammy oily, do we? I don't want to get hammy oily. Man, I can't believe how bad that is. Oh, good. So the valves worked. That's that's awesome. Take this off. There. See? Just uh, completely rounded off all the threads there. So uh, we're gonna put this back on. I do have spares. I do have spares, so don't panic. If for some reason it was to die, I got more where that came from. Minus 15 wind chill right now. It's chilly. I can't believe. Uh oh. Is that leaking? That is. Right there? Yeah. Shoot, it is. Look at that. It actually wore through. That might not last very long. Right there. See that little? You can see it's right down to the threads. See it? See how it comes out right there? Yeah. Dang it! Well... So... Luckily we carry spares. Luckily we carry spare hoses. So I'm going to put this on right now because it's still winter out here and uh, it keeps the dirt and dust out of it. And then when I come back, to go seeding, I'm just gonna bring a spare line with me and just quickly take it off this end and this end. What am I doing here? There we go. Didn't have it started. I'll just bring a spare line with me. You know what? There's some other broken ones. I might just take them off too. Like I'm in the like these little dirt shields. I don't think those are the answers. Uh, these all broke off here as well. See, it's a weak spot. This is how they're supposed to be. But when it breaks off, it rides like this. It rounds all this off. And then hopefully a tire doesn't hook it and rip it right off, right? And then this one here, same thing. So normally I just take them right off, huck them. They're a waste. They're just a waste of your time. But since we got, we did call this Bob, but that's actually my dad's name, so maybe we should go with Barry, because otherwise people are going to be like, why is dad out here? And so we'll say it's Barry, I guess. So I could just try and loosen this off. Try this side here. That's a, actually not, a, that is not what I wanted to do. Oh. So I just dropped everything here. I'm gonna put this. And I'm just going to thread this back in here a little bit. Pull some of this out. Basically, I just wanted to see if I couldn't slide it down a little bit. Barry, you got a little bit too much power going on there. Okay. And then just slide this back over here on the thicker part. Of course, this clamp is kind of not working with me here. Okay. You know what? We're just going to take it right out of there. We can pull this clamp apart. There we go. I can't work with my fingers here. There, just like this. See what we're doing here? See what we're doing? Yeah. Ah. Oh, that's pretty solid. It's a Borgo. It's made of real steel. There we go. Where's Barry? Oh, Barry thank there. you. Uda. The thing with jig on it. Thing, we got the thing with jiggy. Okay. Let's 
just like that. Yeah, that's not perfect, but. So that's what I'm gonna do with these broken ones. Just so you know. Okay. So we're taking a break. Uh, this is Hammy. If you've never met Hammy, this is my Mike Hammy. That's Hammy, okay? Um, we're eating crackers. What, well, these are not crackers. These They're are not. social biscuits. These are like rich Social tea. biscuits. They, he's from tea. Scotland or Ireland or, so, or something. <laughs> Australia. <laughs> Australia. He's from Australia. You nah. <laughs> No, okay, maybe he's not. I don't know. England. Come England. On. My that's basically, queen. that's France. Okay, right. No, no, it's not personal. No, not. <laughs> just, uh, anyway, all of you from France, we love you. Um, we just have to, we have to pick on some sort of a country. Normally it's Quebec here in Canada, if you didn't know that, but. <laughs> and then there's Rick. Rick, where is your heritage from? Uh, not your hair. My hair <laughs> is Where's from your hair? My, head. <laughs> my heritage is from Holland. Holland. Does that make you Dutch? Yes. So we got Dutch. Part, what? Part, partly Dutch. Do can can you say anything in in Dutchland? Dutchland. <laughs> <laughs> well, now that I'm on the spot. So oh, can pressure. you say anything in UKish? Um. Hello. And then I I my great grandpa he came from Scotland, and I can't say anything in Scotland's Scotland Scotland. <laughs> Scott, Scandalanian. Yeah, good, good try. Thank you. I don't, I, I don't think you're insulted the Scottish. I did. I am Scottish. <laughs> I am Scottish. I'm Scottish. I, I, does that work? I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> hey, the yeah. Mitchell, Mitchell, our yeah. badge, our badge. I don't know if you want to call it it's that. Not, well, it's your clan. Clan. Your clan. The clan. The clan. We're a boar. Okay. Like so. we would, we would take anything down. A boar. Come on. <laughs> Like seriously, my buddy, he's uh, one of my good buddies, his, his last name's Cochran, and apparently that's Scottish too, and apparently that clan is a horse, and he thinks he's so much better than me. But he's not, he's not. So if you were listening to this, Paul, you're not. You're not better than me, buddy. We got a boar. What do you got? So we're trying to learn some words, because you know, we're actually, so we apologize if we are insulting anybody, because actually that's not what we're trying to do. We're just. We're cold, we're eating crackers, cookies, cookies, and uh, we're trying to stay warm out there in the winter-ish, and we're trying to learn stuff. So, speak Duchess. <laughs> Duchess. Uh, well, you said that you found something, what is it, what is it? It said, I don't know how, this is not, okay, I yeah, can't say it. it. Please like forgive us, German. please forgive, it, I'm pretty sure, so good morning. Is Guten Morgen. But in German, it's actually Guten Morgen. Guten Morgen. Which? Guten Tag, good day, I think. Good to not, not, good to not. I don't know, I hope I'm not. So it sounds very similar. We are sorry if we insulted your mother. We are sorry if we insulted your father as well. Yes, I suppose. Do we know anything else? Do you know anything? I don't know how much to trust Google anymore. I don't trust Google. So I know a little bit of Spanish, like uh, lo siento, I'm sorry, uh, no, no hablo, no hablo, uh, no hablo. Espanol. No hablo espanol. Lo siento. No hablo espanol. I think I think I might have just butchered something. And said that I had to go to the bathroom. But I did. I know I didn't say albano. So I think we're okay there. And then uh, does anybody know any French? Which is technically our second language. I know zero French. Why do I know zero French? Because the second language I took was espanol, and I know very piquito. Piquito is piquito. Petito. Piquito. Mojito. A little. No, not mojito. Oh. Little. Little bit. I could take a mojito right now, though. I don't know what you just said. Taquito. Can, yeah. can you speak any French? No. Can you speak any French? We. Oui. Oh. We. Oui! <laughs> That's it. That's all we got. We. Oui. And uh, I got nothing. I'm trying to, you know. We're trying our best here, guys. We're trying our best. Stop we judging not, us. You know, we are not professional speakers. You know. That's evident. <laughs> <laughs> so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna try and sing a song and we're each gonna try and throw a different word in there So Who's gonna who's gonna start us off? I think Rick could do you know the baritone he gets Rick's gonna do words. baritone. Yeah, I don't know what those words mean <laughs> Mike's gonna do soprano sure <laughs> I'll and, be the tenor. <laughs> 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 
Oh, okay, we know we have no idea. So we just like joking around. We have, we love to have fun, you guys, as you know, and uh, we're just trying to warm up. So uh, that's all we know. That's all we know. Yeah, that's all we know. We're, does anyone know how to speak hammy? Okay, so we got a bit of a song for you guys. Uh, I think the cold weather is starting to play tricks on our brains uh, with whatever little bit we have that haven't froze. So uh, please don't judge us too much, or actually feel free to. Uh, Judge us or yeah. go fund us. Which, yeah, you can come yeah. fund us on uh, whatever. Fund I guess you know we're thinking about quitting our day jobs. <laughs> yeah. So you guys can be the judge of that. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna go low. No, I'm gonna go high. I'm gonna go low. Rick's yeah. gonna go high. high. Don't know what Lee's gonna I'll do. Lee, where. and just belt it out, Rickles. Okay, Rickles gonna, gonna start us. Rick is okay. gonna start. Us. Okay. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> do we gotta count down like one, two, and three or what? Yeah, I, I, don't I don't think so. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Belt it out. Ba 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 ba